for it. Here we are. Welcome to the Temple of the Jaguar. This is the most iconic temple in Tikal, the symbol, the landmark of Guatemala and the Mayan civilization. Today we're visiting Tikal, abandoned, deserted for 1,500 years. Our guide Hamilton will be showing us the best temples and pyramids, and afterwards we'll be eating lunch at the Tikal Canteen. Here's what you can expect when you visit Tikal, Guatemala. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Northern Guatemala in Central America, and today we are visiting Tikal, which is the ancient site dating back to the 4th century BC of the pre-Columbian Mayan civilization. We are with our great guide Hamilton. Hi. Hi nice to meet you Hamilton. Hi, nice to meet you. I just give you the warmest welcome to the Maya lowland of Petén. Thank Petén you. Petén is the largest uh, state of the country. It holds an extension of more than 38,000 square kilometers. These huge expanses of tropical rainforest remains virtually untouched. So today we will visit the Tikal National Park, which is the one of the most visited archaeological sites in Central America. All right. Yeah, the how tour normally takes about five hours okay. walking. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's about how much time you want to spend here. Yeah, yeah. About five hours. Oh, so this animal is called a quartis? Yeah, quatimundi. Quatimundi. They can climb trees very well, okay. but they are equally comfortable traveling on the forest floor. They are omnivores and they will eat everything they find. Okay. I mean, Tikal is also a nature preserve because the forest is so well protected. And so it's a, a wildlife refuge. And so you're definitely going to see some wildlife. We're just seeing our first, almost looks like a cross between an anteater and a giant squirrel with a huge tail and a monkey all together in one. Poke their noses in to get food and insects. Tikal is not the original name of this archaeological site. Tikal means the place of the voices or the place of the echo. No, it, and it's because the limestone construction, the most of the construction materials that the mine used it uh, developed from the karst or limestone and that is uh, like an acoustic sound effect ah. that uh, you can hear that sound from here so clap together. You will hear a, a sound that's effect. why the name of tikal what was the original name of the city of tikal yashmutul what's really cool about this is that they've only excavated half of the pyramid and so half of it is covered like in this mound of earth and that's how it was found it was just overtaken by the jungle i mean that's true with all of tikal um, but they left half of it unexcavated so that you could see how it was when they they recently found it i mean recently in terms of uh how old it is and then uh uncovered the other half with the pyramids with the steps here we go Wow, pretty steep steps. Canopy of jungle, rainforest. That's beautiful, and that's what I'm talking about. You can see here, this is excavated, and here's the where the mound of earth is on this side. This just gives you some perspective. Abandoned, deserted for 1,500 years. So the entire forest just devoured the entire city of Tikal and just, I mean, even the pyramids covered, this is a pyramid under here, but it was covered in soil, covered in growth, covered in trees, and so just completely hidden. Now we're moving on to the next complex, the next site um, through, the, through the forest. It's a subtropical rainforest in this lowland plains of Northern Guatemala, and it's so green, so lush dripping in sweat now but as we're hiking through the the forest we've come to this is a gum tree huge significance in this area because it was discovered and then it was produced as a natural chewing gum that's what began the entire chewing gum as you and i know it and it's this kind of sap or latex that comes out of that gum tree 
And so the, as they were exploring this area, taking more and more of gum, that is, I mean, that's what led to the exploration and eventually led to the discovery, rediscovery of Tikal, of this entire Mayan civilization. This is the temple number four, or also known as the two-headed serpent. Mm. It was built around 740 years after Jesus Christ okay. by the ruler Yiking Chankawil. We're at temple number four, the tallest temple in Tikal. Whoa, even when you speak next to this limestone, it just kind of echoes. We made it to the top here. Look at that view. Oh, beautiful. Wow. The three temples in the same line. Uh -huh. The closer temple that you see over there, that's called temple number three. And then we got two temples at a distance facing each other. So 30% of the city has been excavated, but only 20 was uncovered. And this is, I put example of the 20%. To be above the canopy of trees, to see the temples and the pyramids poking out from the, from the canopy of trees was impressive. But at the peak of its Mayan city, to think that there was no forest actually, the entire thing was cleared. Maybe there were farms, maybe there were, but it was cleared, the forest, and brightly colored, painted pyramids temples that's something you you need to imagine all in the stone actually we called maya refrigerators and it was used to store food or grains mm. so yeah. what's the difference between a temple yeah. and a pyramid yeah a temple has just one staircase and and the pyramids we have in the mayan area flat on top and uh, has four staircases marking its four cardinal points. This pyramid in the mine area were for observation, astronomical and astrological purpose. So the main purpose of that building that you see over there was just to mark the solstice and equinoxes. So solstice and equinoxes was of great importance for them because the mine astronomers, they had knowledge men and they were the ones to tell the farmers about the different cycles of the agriculture. And then temples were used as ceremonial... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, actually, in Tikal, there are uh, temples of different functions, like um, commemor commemorative uh, temples and also ceremonial temples and a funeral temples okay. as well. Temple number five. Hamilton was mentioning that this temple number five was a funerary temple. We are here. Okay. Passing through a temple passageway on either side and right in front of me, wait for it, here we are. Welcome to the temple of the Jaguar. This is the most iconic temple in Tikal, the symbol the landmark of Guatemala and the Mayan civilization. It is incredible. And we were looking at it from the, the Temple of the Masks on the other side, and it looks huge and steep, but look at it when you're at the base. It's just like literally straight up, that angle, that staircase, which it's prohibited from climbing, but that is incredibly steep and rugged and just straight up to the sky and it is spectacular. It's an impressive sight. The Jaguar Temple, the main plaza, and that pretty much, I mean, we've seen most of the important sites of Tikal. It's been unbelievable, mind-blowing, impressive, and just I think imagining how it used to be the development, the advancement of the Mayans. From here, we're heading back to the headquarters, to the park headquarters, and it's time for lunch. And man, you will be hungry after climbing all of the pyramids and temples, that's for sure. We're pretty hungry. So we're here at one of the kind of restaurant canteens of Tikal, where they have simple meals, and we actually pre-ordered this meal Chicken, I got chicken with onions, a little bit of vegetables, a little bit of rice with peas, and then of course, Guatemalan tortillas. But yeah, when you spend the entire morning hiking up the pyramids and the temples, you'll definitely be hungry. Here we go.
<laughs> Nicely stewed down onions. Maybe a little bit of a, an acidity to it. Chicken, vegetables. Mm, good, but it could definitely use some spicier, some spicy sauce. I'm gonna see if they have some, some spicy sauce to go with this. So they don't have any of the habanero sauce, but they do have this green, whoa, kind of like a, a vibrantly green, almost like a ketchup. Hmm. Which is not really spicy, but it is kind of acidic. And then some tortillas. Oh yes, in Guatemala, no matter what, you're guaranteed good, fresh, corn tortillas, which can be eaten with everything. Definitely a simple meal, but it tastes pretty good. It was fascinating. Hamilton did an incredible job to explain the history. And I mean, the Mayan, this Mayan civilization, Tikal, it's one of those places that the more people and there's more research done, there's more evidence, the more they uncover, the more we realize how just complex, and the more we realize how much we don't know that much about this Mayan civilization. So many things remain a mystery, and yet their advancement in society and technology, in stars and sunlight and time, it was just, it has made an impact on the entire world as we know it today. And highly, highly recommended. We took four and a half approximately hours, uh, so definitely give yourself four and a half, five hours to visit Tikal, and it's an absolute must when you're in Guatemala in Central America. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Uh, we're also traveling all around Guatemala eating some of the best food in the country, so make sure you don't miss this entire series. And yes, goodbye from Tikal. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.